Okay guys, we are on the right side of our work. Now I know that working continental can be tricky, but if you learn to have a good tension uh, with your work in yarn, it's gonna be much easier. So let's start. Um, so what do I do? When I have to knit, I insert my right needle into the stitch. I catch, simply catch the work in yarn. I bring it through the stitch and then I drop the stitch. Okay, so again, I insert my right needle into the stitch, I catch my work in yarn, I bring it through the stitch and then I drop the stitch. It's very, very easy. So again, into the stitch, catch the, the yarn, through the stitch and drop the stitch. Again, into, catch, drop. Into, catch, drop. Of course, you can help the yarn reaching the needle by moving the finger, the, the, the index finger a little bit. So you insert, you move your index finger a bit forward so that the needle can catch the yarn, bring it through the stitch and then drop it. So it's very, very easy. Let's see how it works on the purl side. Okay, here we go on the purl side. So purling, uh, I know that lots of people hate purling continental style, but let's try to make it easy. So with your work in yarn, you need to be able to go down, up, down, up, down, up. It really helps. Okay, so let's try it. Go down with your work in yarn. You insert the right needle into the stitch. You go up and down with your work in yarn. And then you simply come out of the stitch and drop it with your right needle. It's very easy. You go down, you insert, up, down, drop the stitch. Down, insert, up, down, drop the stitch. So the main concept is that when you insert your needle, you need to be able to wrap the yarn around the needle. That's the main concept. But the thing is, down, insert, up and down, drop the stitch. This is quite easy to do and, well, I wouldn't say fun, but yeah, you know, when you can knit easily and fast, it's always fun. So guys, that's it. Try to knit Continental and let me know how it goes. Um, thanks for watching.